there we go. Now we have the forge started up. It'll take a few minutes to get going, but then we can get started on this. This is 1095 high carbon steel. We are going to be making some knives out of them. We are now putting the 1095 into the forge to heat it up and start forging our blade. So I'm knocking down that corner. I haven't gotten to that corner yet but we really need to drive it in so we don't have any cracks forming. And now I have the one side basically 45 degrees of an angle. And that's kind of our point. And we're going to just keep drawing it out and sharpening it up and we're finding our shape from here. Let's bring this down. We're starting to get the shape. All right, so you can kind of see the blade shape, like really rough, right? But now I'm gonna notch in where the handle's gonna go, which is about right about there. I don't wanna touch the metal, it's burning hot. But once I have that notch in place, I can finish off the blade shape. So back into the fire. Nice and hot. And we're gonna notch it right about here. So, hammering half on, half off, and we start to get a notch in place. So, as you can now tell, we have a notch, which will be where the handle goes. So, let's get another heat and keep going. Then over to the horn. Now on the horn, you can see how much it rounded out. That's exactly what we want. Because a round choil is much better than a square one. Square really hurts the fingers. If you guys have any projects you want to see made, just comment them and I'll see them and hopefully get working on them. There's the Escanor axe I still plan on working on. That one I needed a break from because it's a lot of work. And it's been freezing cold in here. The handle is taking shape and so is the blade, but the blade is nowhere near done. So I'm going to get back to it and reforge the shape to exactly what I'm looking for and then start beveling. All right, it's getting closer to what I'm looking for. Let's keep going. So now I'm going to add a distal taper 
which is basically lengthening the blade while thinning down the tip and keeping the choil thick. Which the choil, if I haven't mentioned yet, is the transition between the blade and the handle. So I'm pretty content with that blade shape. It's still quite rough, but I'm gonna bevel it, refine it some more, and then leave the rest of the cleanup for grinding. So I'm gonna start beveling, which is just angling the hammer and the piece of metal, the blade, and forging down one edge. I have beveled just the very end of the cutting edge. I still have to bevel up here, this side, the clip point there. But that's the beginning of the bevel. Now, let's see if we can see it. We got two bevels going right now, but I do need to draw them back a bit. And also I'm gonna do a false edge on the spine here, just for aesthetic. So I'm going to now move on to the handle and cut it off, forge the handle out, everything. And that will be it. content with that it still needs now a bit of tweaking but I'm happy with the handle length and thickness just put it in here oh it fits nicely and oh exactly what we wanted perfect splendid splendid indeed and ta-da there we go we have cut it off exactly like I mean to. There we go. A little janky, but that's what this is all about. Cool. It's just ending up a little smaller than what I wanted. However, it is very aesthetic. I think I'm pretty content with that and I can't really complain about it. Come back to the screen so you can actually see this guy who made the knife. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe or like.